So finally, one of the amazing custom ROM named as Lineage OS is now also updated to Android 16. As far as I know, it was updated with Android 16 a few days ago, I guess even a lot of time ago actually, but we did not have any updates, any builds available for most of the devices. We have this version available based on Android 16, Lineage OS 23 I am talking about. But remember one thing, this is not the official version. This is unofficial version. So uh, I guess it will not be available on the official website, but it will provide you some additional info for sure. Some of the things which you will find with this latest update, if you hold on the home screen, you will see this new option named as apps list. It's a part of latest Android 16. It is not a major thing. It's not a big difference and so on, but it's available. So just wanted to let you know. Everything else seems to be quite simple and quite similar as compared to the previous versions, especially that was based on Android 15. If you move on to the default launcher, it has the same kind of UI, same kind of features. This is Trebuchet launcher, which is pre-installed. If you move on to quick settings panel, we do not have the new expressive UI in case you are looking forward to that. That's part of Android 16's QPR1 stable. And as far as I know, Lineage OS might come with the QPR1 update directly, which might we might see 23.1, not so sure. And QPR1 stable source code might be coming soon for some other custom ROMs also. Let's see. With Lineage OS 23, we still have this audio effects available in case you don't know. Unlike some other custom homes, which have their own, which have some other things kind of available, Dolby and so on, audio effects is part of Lineage OS. So if you're looking forward to sound experience, uh, increase your sound experience and so on, sound quality, basically, audio effects is one of the good looking and quite useful equalizer out there. Settings UI, kind of same, no features, no, I mean, no extra features, no uniqueness. But it's just kind of simple because Lineage is always kind of a custom room which brings you stability. It, it main focus is on stability. One of the most stable custom rooms. One thing many users are looking forward to this regarding play integrity in Lineage is obviously by default you will not pass the play integrity like in this case also. Although yes, this is unofficial version, but the reality is this is Poco F5. So these unofficial versions are also by the official developer, which is actually who's the official developer of this custom room for official Lineage OS version, basically. So this is kind of same thing. There's nothing extra, nothing special about this unofficial version. It's a simple, which you will get after. If you have official version available, you get the same experience for sure. Everything else seems, seems to be the similar one in this case. Same goes with the on-device wallpaper, same UI, so on. And as I just told you, starting with the video also, if you're looking forward to that QPR1 stable update, it's not out yet. It might be there soon. We might see Lineage 23.1, but it's available unofficially for a few of the devices. This is what the quick look for Lineage OS 23 based on Android 16. Things are quite similar. The main thing will be on QPR 1 update. That will be the most exciting update for Lineage OS also. Let's see how the things will go on that time. For now, this is what we have. If you want to check it out, you can check out your community groups on Telegram or XTA. And this is it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.